The upcoming Los Angeles Marathon will mark my 10th LA Marathon. Sounds impressive, but I had heard of someone who was well on his way to completing 30. 65-year-old legacy runner John Butcher of Silver Lake, California. Hi, John. Hi, yes. I'm Trishna. Hi, Trishna. Nice to meet you. Come on in. To be considered a legacy runner, you must have participated in and completed every single LA Marathon since the city's very first one in 1986. Marathon running is a passion. I have grown to love it. It is a form of uh, mental therapy. Training for at least one marathon a year is a part of my philosophy of life. I will always know how healthy I am by how I'm running. Butcher's health has been his priority despite his many struggles. I was diagnosed with HIV in November of 1989. It was a death sentence at the time. I refused to let that take me down, so I, I just continued to run. I was diagnosed with cancer in March of 2010. A little over two years ago, I had actually the worst incident, which was the, the severing of the tibial, tibial nerve in my ankle. I have no feeling in the bottom of my foot, and I've prevailed. It hasn't been easy showing up year after year, but for guys like Butcher, the legacy is what keeps him coming back. I go for a run? I was not about to let external and, or internal factors about health take me out of that group until there was no chance at all. John prefers to train solo, but he did point me to a group of legacy runners who are still in touch and occasionally run together. We met them at one of their training spots in Playa del Rey. We're gonna get ready to run right here, do your stretching. You know. Lou Briones is one of the group's co-leaders. He's taken it upon himself to formally organize legacy gatherings in recent years. I thought it'd be fun to get to know everybody, and we've grown to really connect with each other. Here we are to getting ready for number 30. It's a big milestone for us. At what point does tenacity become stubbornness? We all suffer from the same malady, which is training. There are doctors and lawyers and school teachers, retired folks. It's culmination of a lot of just real nice people who have one common goal. And I'm associated with a group of people that think like I do, that have this want and desire to complete this, to be physically fit enough. I'm proud to be associated with that kind of a person. I woke up at four in the morning and it was pouring rain outside yeah. and the only reason yep. I yeah. didn't just turn my alarm off was because of the legacy there thing. You go. Yeah. And I expect yes, zero dropout this year. Thank you. Next year, I expect something different. Yeah. <laughs> your parents have passed away, you've had cancer, other things go on in your life, but you've got this one pillar of strength that's the LA Marathon, and it's just one of those constants in your life. We spend time together, running together, uh, Lou arranges four or five training runs. So right. well, that's kind of helped to bring us all together and make yeah. us more of a, a, a group. So, so, so there's that pressure, pressure right? if you will, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. to get out there and beat Lou. There's pressure <laughs> and support. Legacies are typically meant to be carried on, but these men and women are part of something exclusive. I love my family, my 177 legacy runners. And I'm a part of something that no one else can get in. The doors are closed. Nobody got this going on but us. You are so cool, man.